buckle up for this one, cowboys, cowgirls. You're welcome to buckle up as well. In my head, this is going to be as simple as blending cheddar cheese and pork rinds together, which is in fact the first step. You'll need three ounces of pork rinds and eight ounces of sharp cheddar cheese. Please be kind to your blender and shred it first. Blend this on low speed for about two minutes or until a cheese dough starts to form. Looks a bit like this. Preferably, place this onto a silpat lined baking sheet and get it into the general shape of an oval. Grab something heavy. Your mom won't be useful here, so I suggest a pan of some sort. Top the cheese dough with some parchment paper and then press this down with all your might. I made a big oval, about a quarter inch thick here, but we're going for Cheez-Its. They're square, if you didn't know. Cut the edges off with a pizza cutter. Remove the excess and make it into little cheese balls. Why not? Try to make one by one squares with your pizza cutter. If you can't, don't worry. You'll soon find out this was a futile effort. Place this into an oven at 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 28 minutes or until it looks something like this. Not at all what I envisioned in my head. My dumb brain said, yeah, this is exactly what it's gonna come out looking like and it'll taste exactly like cheeses. But this is what I'm left with and I'm a little disappointed. Melted cheese. I suppose it is just melted cheese with the addition of some pork rinds. I have a lot of ideas how to make this work perfectly as a cheese it but for now, we have to suck it up and cut these squares. Again. These were super greasy, but they had a nice toasty flavor which completely masked the flavor of the pork rinds. I will be doing a dedicated video on this one soon, so be on the lookout for that. But in the meantime, if you make these, leave some comments below with what you would do different to make them better.